What's up everybody? DJ Goham here. And I'm going in the wrong field. I missed you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Monday, first off. And second off, I hope you had an awesome weekend. I really do. I hope you had a great weekend. And I hope you're having a good week this week as well. Whatever you're doing today, only Monday. Today's the start of the week. I know that sometimes Mondays suck. And by sometimes, they always suck. <laughs> but take that suck, flip it upside down, turn today into a positive day, and turn the today into a positive way to start the week. We gotta park this thing. <laughs> I don't know where to park it. It's so big. We need it down here, but oh, oh man. Oh, we're good. We're not. Yep, yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck. We got stuck. Oh. Alright. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna have to come back down here and get that darn thing unstuck. Ay, ay, ay. Why is it always gonna be so difficult? So, as you just saw in the speedy, uh, we. Let's get down here. Uh, we just got done doing our barley field, so we got our barley field done. Um, we've still got to do um, sunflowers. We still need to do corn. We still need to do potatoes and sugar beets and um, what's that other one? I believe it was uh, soybeans. Yes, I hate like uh, so. Here's the thing: I like I like this tractor. I like I like the quad quad track. I hate these tractors with the little brake in the middle. Man, they are so difficult. Why they gotta be so difficult? Why does it gotta be so hard? It ain't gotta be hard. Why is it hard? I don't know. All right, well we're unstuck and we got it over here, and, and we're gonna bloop pop it right there. Uh, I don't know if I've got room for this tractor over here or not actually we may need it let's take a look because we are going to buy a new cultivator we're going to buy the cultivator that matches this guy 500 horsepower okay well what do our what do these guys have 435 not enough cultivators boom boom boom, boom, boom. this guy 186,000. that's cool purchase we got money rolling in bank rolling in the bank however we are down to about two million now which might seem silly for us to be freaking out a little bit but um yeah <laughs> seeing that we started with close to five million yeah yeah it's not that much Comparatively speaking, why are the lights on? Why are the lights got to be on? So again, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my cough is still trying to kill me. Uh, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> so we're gonna go grab this cultivator, and I believe we're gonna have to do double time on the next couple fields. We're gonna have to cultivate, and then we're gonna have to seed. So, I'm not going to make you just sit through all that, because that's really boring. Um, I thought we were going to do one day per episode. However, today being the first day of spring, and it being the only day that we've got to do a bunch of stuff, then we need today to do a bunch of that stuff. And we may skip a couple days here and there, yada, yada, yada. I'm just trying to do one season per week, since I'm on six days... I do six episodes in a week. Um, I am going to add... I don't have my paper around in front of me. I think it's old... Either Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to do something called Oregon Extras. So... There we go. Uh, and with Oregon Extras, it's going to be... Um, like all some some off-screen stuff that I've done and and that kind of thing so I thought 
that would be pretty cool to do. So we would do that for you. Yes. So we're heading back up now. Uh, we are going to get field number four cultivated and field number 15 cultivated. Uh, field number four is going to be our corn. And field number 15, I believe, is going to be potatoes. Uh, I was going to do sugar beet, but it being our smallest field, I think that is a good candidate for potatoes. Seeing that our potato harvester is only about three meters, and I would like for it to not take forever. Um, I think our we got the draper headers for our... Um, for our combine harvesters so those are like 45 foot so harvesting a lot of stuff ain't gonna take real long and that is super cool super cool so field number four yes that is where we're going field number four's got this funky thing down the center it's got a bunch of trees i believe that's that over there i don't know i think i may cut those down Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Also, apologize if you can hear all the nasty sounds going on in my in my yawns and my everything. I have a really nice microphone. <laughs> so, also, I hope you are enjoying Oregon Springs. I really, really like this map. When it when I saw it first come out, I said that that's the map right in there. Um, I was in the middle of doing. Uh, my own fun little let's play by myself of Vela the Old Farm and and when I saw it I said that I gotta have that <laughs> all right so we're gonna get this field done I don't know if we're gonna have to do the whole thing ourselves or if we can hire a worker it's a pretty funky size field um, but we're gonna figure that out and I will see you guys at the end of the speedy uh, once I figure out what I'm going to do. accidentally jumped out but that's okay because it gives me a chance to talk to you guys for a second uh, I have decided that I'm just gonna do this whole field myself it's much easier that way um, and the I don't have to worry about a worker getting all freaky out and going haywire and everything I can just do it myself get it done it's not gonna take that long and then we'll jump over was it field 15. Jump over to field 15 and we'll do the same thing there. So, we're going to jump into another speedy because I really don't want to put you guys through having to sit here 
and listen to me talk about nothing uh, for the, what, the next 15 minutes or so while I'm doing this field and the next one. So I will see you at the end of it. I will miss you. Don't run away. <laughs> So I did end up hiring a worker, but it's for a good cause because <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and jump in this guy, our case Magnum. Love that case. We're going to jump in here and grab our other cultivator over here. We're going to go ahead and jump on field, was it 15, I believe? We're going to go ahead and get that done as well. Two birds, one stone. Let's go. You know how you do that? Throw it at a bird. Then you go pick up the stone and you throw it at the other bird. A little southerner trick for you. <laughs> Alright. I'm still getting used to this map. There's still a lot of... I just don't know where everything is. I am trying. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Like, it's on our left. I know it's on our left. It just seems like it should be on our right, which is real funky to me. Whatever. Is this it? Is this it? Okay. Let's unfold here. And I will say yet again, I think this is going to take a while. Unfortunately. I don't own this field. What are you talking about? Of course I own this field. Field 15. Field 15. Yes, I, yes I do. Just leave me alone. I do own this field. 
Hush. What are you doing, man? We I mean, they don't own this field. How far out do these freaking boundaries go? Don't make me buy field 14. I'll do it. Are you kidding me? Dude. Leave me alone. Ugh. That's so annoying. Is anyone else that has played this map had this problem with Field 15? Why? Why? The, if anywhere, the boundaries should be in the middle. I want to do, I have a little bit extra here. I want to use it. That's one way to get me riled up. Hey, hey, hey. So, here we are, cultivating this field right here. Right here. Right here. So again, like I said, this is going to be potatoes, because we need some potatoes. And I don't know for the pigs if we're going to give them potatoes or sugar beet. Um, I assume we'll put both over there, and then whatever's selling for the best, we will sell, and then we will use whatever is not selling the best. I think that's a good way to do it. It's a clever way. All right. Hopefully, since we're over here, we won't have any more of that. You don't own this field. Meh, meh, meh. Stupid. Alright. How are we getting along? Helper I is still doing well in field four. And we are kicking like some chickens in field number 15. Cool. Alright. Let's see. What else do we need to do today? Uh, we've been playing a little while now. So, I think once we get this field and that field cultivated, I think we need to get at least that field planted. Um, I may bring in a second planter just to get it done quicker. Um, to get the corn in the, corn in the ground quicker. Oh wait, hang on, we can't do corn. Never mind. Uh, looks like we're doing potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I forget. Um, corn and um, sunflowers, or not sunflowers, corn and soybeans cannot be planted yet. The ground temperature must be four, or 50 degrees. And the ground temperature, unfortunately, is only 45 degrees. Oops. Guess we should have done another field, huh? That's alright. We got another episode to go. Um, I hope that Helper I has completed their task. Well, we will be the judge of that. Can we hire a worker for this field? We could, but I don't think they're going to do a very good job. So, let's get to that point. Okay. We're done there. Let's bump over to him. You didn't see that. He is not done. Boy. We're gonna have to do this all ourselves? I hope not. Eh, it won't take that long. We'll get it done real fast. And then we could take this over to field number 15 and get it done like four swipes. Yes, that is what we shall do. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for anybody curious, uh, as soon as this video goes up, I'm going to start working on my stuff for work tonight. Tonight is trivia night. So, very excited there. Going to be doing some NCAA basketball trivia. And uh, I think... Ooh, we are all over the place. I think the uh, theme tonight is going to be called King of Random. So, the way I'm going to do that is it'll be just a bunch of general knowledge trivia. I think that'd be pretty fun. General knowledge trivia. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, 
Drop back down. I'm trying to keep from doing another speedy. Because we've done like three already. Two or three already. So. Though I do not want to make this video super long. Uh, I like a nice 20 minute video. Keeping it in there. Nothing too crazy. What I'll do. Here we go. We'll drop that down. Okay, so once we're done here, how do we get to field 15? Out and to the right. Cool. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take this guy. We are done. Have it fold up for road use here. Good, good. Keep from taking out any signs. All right. Hello, truck. So let's get over here. We're going to knock this out. And and I think we can just sit and, and chat during that time. And then I'm going to go back and take a look and see how much I have recorded for you guys today. And once I see that, I'll be able to decide better what we need to do. Whether we need to... let that finish folding out. Let's grab this guy and move him out of the way. I left the lights on. I would decide better whether we need to do some more or whether this can be uh, it for the day. So like I said, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Folded? Yes? Good. Alright. Let's jump back in our quad track here. Let's bump it out. That way we can actually see. And I think we're going to go counterclockwise this time. Alright. Alright. Well, let's get this done. I'll see you guys at the end of this clip right here. And we'll figure out what our next move is going to be. So when I said it would take four passes, what I really meant to say was it will take five passes. Yes, indeed. Yes, it will. So this is our fifth pass right here. Not too bad, not too bad. I did miss one teeny tiny itsy bitsy little spot. We're going to have to turn around and we're going to have to hit that. Um, I have looked um, at the video count and ooh, ground response is doing its job I tell you what do have ground response turned on as you can see the dirt kicking up here um, which is the reason why going up hills is presenting a little bit of a challenge uh, but that is oh right <coughs> excuse me my goodness all right this itty bitty little spot right here got it all right let's raise up let's fold up we're going to get this guy returned, and by return, I mean put in his new home. He has never been to the farm before, but it is dirty. We need to clean it off or pray for rain. One of the two. All right. I don't know where we're going to put this. This thing is enormous. Um, I would say we would put it on the right. But I don't know if there's room. Can we get around? I think we can. It's not going to go in a shed. At least not not now. Because there's no sheds big enough on this map. At least that I've put down. So, I'm going to take him around here. Bring it around town. And we're going to park him up. leave right here and I'll back it in yes yes indeed I put it there only because I have to okay let's do do let's get this guy parked 
then we're gonna have to go back. Sign, I swear. <coughs> My goodness. I'm dying, everybody. I'm dying. We can run up there and get that. That's all right. Not a big deal. Okay. Actually, I've not put this in here before, so we're gonna see if it fits. Got a lot of equipment in here. Oh, she'll fit. No problems, no problems. It's just a little dirty, that's all. Shut the door. I think these rolly doors on this map are so cool. They're just everywhere. There's so many of them, it's awesome. Okay, we were hurdler in high school. Let's go. Yeah, we didn't fall. What's up? We did that. You saw it. It happened. Deal with it. So if we had any extra money, I would say let's get a uh, wind windmill. How much? What do those guys run anyway? Let's take a look. Just for fun. Just for fun. Da, 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 da. One point two, and they give you a thousand dollars an hour, which means let's check this out real fast. So at $1,000 an hour times 24 hours in a day. 24000 okay? Divided by 24000 It would take us 50 in-game days to pay for that. Now, I got to tell you, I don't plan on staying on this map for 50 days. <laughs> So, yeah, especially seeing that a season's only 24 days, so it would take us literally one more day than two years, or two more days than two years, just to pay for the darn thing before it would pay for itself. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. However, we do have one thing. We do have one, one placeable that gives us a little bit extra money every now and then. It's not a crazy amount. But, it is something, and what we'll do is we'll go get the truck, and we're going to take a little drive. We're going to take a little, a little, uh, DJ Goham shows you some stuff to her real fast. I think you will like what you see. Let's wing this around. Would never take that at that speed in real life. You flip over. Even with these big old duels on it. Okay. Parked up. Good. Turn her off. Shut the door. Alright. Let's go get the truck. Let's take a little trip. Okay. We have something at our pig farm that I want to show you. And I believe this is the correct way to the big farm. Let's gun it. How fast can we go? How fast can we go? 76. Surprise this truck can handle 76. We're going way too fast for this road. Hit the brakes. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't know what we just hit there, but we did a little off-roading. Okay. Welcome to the pig farm. We will have pigs at some point, hopefully. But we have one thing at our pig farm. We have beehives. Beehives? Beehives. Beehouses. And they're very loud. Ooh, don't want to get too close. They will sting. I believe we have 20 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, we have 20 bee houses. Now, these beehives, where are they? They are right here. $16 an hour. So, $16 an hour times 20 of them. 
I think I'm doing math wrong. No, nope, that's correct. $320 extra per hour. Okay, cool. Times 24. $7,680 a day for all these. Now, obviously, that's not going to put a crazy dent in what we're doing. But I think it'll help offset some of the um, vehicle costs per day. Which I believe are somewhere around there. So that is good. Pretty neat. I would love to get some pigs, but just don't have any straw. We need straw to have pigs. And we do not have straw. And we need straw. Especially for the cows, too. I really do want to do the pigs. Um, every map I do, I, I buy the pigs, and then I end up selling them because they're just so annoying. They don't do anything, and if you don't have them in the spring, there's really no point in having them in the first place because they they only reproduce in the spring. I think I think it's just the spring, and and really the only thing they make is themselves. Um, now you get manure off of them, obviously, and and you get slurry, but um, it's not not enough to offset what's going on. Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys. So over here, this is our cow farm. And we have a lot of gear over here. Um, we got all kinds of stuff for doing silage. Um, we have some uh, wind rower. We have a, a tether. Uh, obviously, we are capable of doing some stuff. Uh, over here as well, we have extra cultivator, planter. Planter does a lot of stuff. Um, we've got different headers for doing different things, and trailers, and all kinds of goodies. Oh, we might hit that. We will be filling up at least one of those bunker silos. Let's take a look in here. Oh yeah! You didn't think we had all this, did ya? So we've got the big X. We've got another case. Uh, we've got the Axle Flow 9230. We got another Magnum, baby. We got the Chrome Big M, and we've got a Puma with a front loader. Pretty neat. We don't need it right now because we're not doing anything crazy down here. So we'll close up shop there. We need to go check on our sheep. So let's do that now. I believe we take it right right here. Yes. I always get this get this wrong right here. But I believe we've gotten it right. We have gotten it right for the first time. Let's go take a look at the sheep. Make sure everybody's all right. Everybody looks happy. That's good. That is good. Yeah, we got some cleanup to do. Hey, and we're getting some wool already. That is excellent. Excellent. Sheeps, what do you need? Do you require anything? You do not require anything other than to be cleaned. So we shall do that now. Got this guy, I'll drop it down. There you go, sheepies. You are very welcome. You are happy sheep. Back her up here. Oh. Let's lower that. Just so nothing crazy. Bah. Hello, sheep. Is everyone happy today? We have little white sheep, little brown sheep, and little black sheep. Yes. 
Bad indeed. I hope everyone is happy. And I hope you guys are happy as well. <coughs> Except for me. My body's dying. And speaking of my body dying, that's going to be it. That is it for us today here at the North Star Sheep Farm. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. What do we got going on tomorrow? What is going on tomorrow? We have two product or we have a product spotlight coming out and we also have Oregon episode 3. So, hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.